Some congressional Democrats have been using the I word in the wake of Donald Trump's decision to fire Jim Comey. And now Lawrence Tribe, professor of constitutional law at Harvard Law School, is joining the chorus, saying in an op-ed in the Washington Post that, quote, the time has come for Congress to launch an impeachment investigation of President Trump for obstruction of justice. And Lawrence Tribe joins me now. So, sir, you say Trump must be impeached. Please explain. Well, to begin with, from the very start of his presidency, he has brazenly defied the Constitution's protection against getting money from foreign governments in your businesses when you're president. Now, that politically didn't have enough oomph, I suppose, but it really showed that he had either no understanding or no respect for the Constitution. But now he has gone the extra mile. He has shown that whatever the truth may be, and I do think we need to get to the bottom of it, about his entanglements with Russia and all the rest, one thing we know is that he feels empowered to act like a king or a dictator. He demands loyalty from the very people we're counting on to investigate him. He tells them that, and in this case it's the director of the FBI, that unless they assure him that they're not going to get too close for comfort, he will not reappoint them. He uses the powers of the presidency essentially to defy the system of checks and balances. So sitting, you know, letting him just sit out the time while we try to get to the bottom of what could be a bottomless money pit uh, is too dangerous for the country. We have to start an impeachment investigation in the House of Representatives Judiciary Committee now while the FBI continues to do its work despite Trump's efforts to decapitate it, and while the independent counsel that I trust will be named by the deputy attorney general now serving as uh, right under Jeff Sessions begins to do his or her work, and while the Senate and House Intelligence Committees continue with their work, but letting him exercise power when he has now demonstrated that when push comes to shove, he will try to push right through all of our checks and balances is just not a safe thing for this country to do. And that's what impeachment was designed for. And you mentioned... It was designed... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you mentioned Rod Rosenstein, who is the deputy uh, attorney general who mm -hmm. oversees the FBI, among other things. He wrote right. the memo that was used as the pretext to fire Jim Comey, but he has already said that he doesn't think an independent prosecutor or a special prosecutor is necessary. Well, of course it is, because among other things, Rosenstein and Sessions were in the meeting with the president, by everyone's account, where the decision was made to come up with a justification to fire Comey. It's all part of the obstruction of justice, and therefore, Rod Rosenstein and Jeff Sessions will have to be witnesses in the investigation into the firing of Comey and the obstruction of justice. Now, everyone knows, even every first-year law student, that you cannot be the prosecutor in a case where you are going to have to be called as a witness. So that one's a no-brainer. He can't do it himself. He therefore has to appoint a special counsel under the procedures that the Justice Department now has in place. Hey, you know, James Clapper, the former director of national intelligence, had some pretty strong words earlier uh, this morning on CNN about our institutions mm -hmm. and the state of them. I want to let, let you take a listen. I think in many ways, our institutions are under assault, both externally, and that's, that's the big news here, is the Russian interference in our election system. And I think, as well, our institutions are under assault internally. Internally from the president? Exactly. Do you concur with that? I concur completely. It, it, it is for moments like this, when the institutional system of checks and balances that the framers so wisely constructed in the late 18th century is under assault by someone who simply recognizes no limits, believes that he has kind of boundless power and that we should all bow down to him and not to the law and the Constitution. It's for moments like that that we really have to step up to the plate. And I hope that members of Congress will finally realize before their reelection is essentially out of the question that they will realize that they owe their fealty 
to the country more than to their party and more than to their own power. Well, we hope that uh, they have heard you, sir, and uh, we will see what they do. Uh, Lawrence Tribe, always Very a pleasure well. to talk to you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Joy. Thank you. And in our next hour, the Secretary of State explains why he hasn't brought up Russia's election interference with the Russians. But first, our new segment, Flip This House. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.